Well, the trial begins today of two men suspected of murdering the prominent Dutch journalist Peter R. de Vries. He was shot at close range in Amsterdam last year and died nine days later. Authorities believe the killing was uh, connected to an organised crime group that he'd been investigating. A beloved journalist in the Netherlands, Peter R. de Vries spent his life and career fighting to uncover the truth behind murders and crime stories, many of which law enforcement had given up on. I stand for my principles. I think uh, I'm just doing my work. That work, though, set him against many of his country's most criminal and most corrupt. And on July the 6th, 2021, while leaving a TV studio in central Amsterdam, he was shot in the head from close range. Two men were arrested shortly after and now stand trial for his murder. It was nine days after he was shot that at the age of 64, Peter R. De Vries died in hospital. His murder rocked the nation and people are looking to this trial to deliver justice. I truly hope from the bottom of my heart that this, this person who did this will be justified. And I, I, I truly hope so, but it's just really unfortunate that these things keep happening. The assassination is widely considered to be ordered by the Mokro Mafia criminal gang who had already killed the brother and the attorney of a key witness in the case against them. Peter R. De Vries had been supporting that witness. A report from uh, DW correspondent Jack Parrock in Amsterdam who has been following the trial. Uh, welcome Jack. Um, tell us what happened in court today. Well, we've seen the two men accused in this trial attend the court. Delano G, a 22-year-old Dutch national, arrived wearing a black turtleneck. He has a sort of long beard, short hair, a sullen disposition in the court today. And he has refused to answer any questions, invoking his right to remain silent throughout this trial, as we, he had done in the charges hearing, hearing just a few uh, weeks ago. Now, the other man, Camille E, he is accused of being the getaway dri driver, where Delano is accused of being the man that pulled the tri trigger. He's a Polish national, 35 years old. He's arrived in a white shirt. He has tattoos coming up onto his neck. A very stocky gentleman with a bald head and glasses. And he has been answering questions. His defence is that he was simply employed as a driver to drive somebody from Rotterdam to Amsterdam and that he had no idea that a murder was going to take place. The prosecution in this case, though, say that he was fully aware and they have used CCTV evidence to show they suggest that he was on the street where Peter R. De Vries was killed just a matter of days before the attack actually happened and that he was part of the planning of the attack. Uh, Camille E. has been saying in court that, that the person in this CCTV isn't him, but there are a number of DNA evidences linking him to the murder weapon. The two men were arrested just outside uh, Amsterdam just after the shooting happened and the prosecution seemed to feel that they should be able to get this case wrapped up. And perhaps you could explain to us why this case is being watched so very closely there. Well, firstly, Phil, it's because of the fame of Peter R. De Vries. He is one of the most beloved, one of the most famous journalists. He was on TV here in the Netherlands very, very frequently. But secondly, because of what has happened and who he was supporting. There's a case against Ridwan Targi, who's the leader of the Mokro Mafia, a major, major criminal gang here in the Netherlands. And uh, one of the key witnesses in that case is a man named Nabil B. This case has been going on for a few years now, but Nabil B his brother was already murdered, his lawyer was murdered, and Peter R. De Vries was known to be supporting him through that case against the Mokro Mafia. So the assumption is, is that the hit was conducted, uh, or at least ordered, by the Mafia bosses. And De Telegraph, which is a Dutch newspaper, says that Delano G, the man who is accused of pulling the trigger, is actually the nephew of Ridwan Targi, that Mafia boss. So it's all connected and it's linked to this suggestion of not only a, an attack on freedom of the press because of Peter R. De Vries, but also an attack on the justice system because of that lawyer that was killed. And that's why it's raised, uh, that's why this, this trial is so high profile. And people in the, here in the Netherlands are watching intensively because they want to see justice served. Thank you so much for that, Jack. Jack Parrock in Amsterdam.